Remember, clean architecture or onion architecture or domain-driven design, they all say the same thing. At the core, you have your domain, your entities. They don't depend on anything. Look, they don't depend on anything. They don't reference core data. They don't have reference use cases. Then application logic on the outside, that's where the use cases usually live. And the use cases only depend on the layer, the immediate layer inwards, which is the domain. So the use cases depend only on the domain and the entities. Then on the outside, you have the infrastructure adapters, which in this case, we are using a decorator, for example, and the core data channel repository that bridges what the application logic needs and the frameworks like core data. And then here you can have as many layers as you need yeah. to create the separation that you need in your application. But that's the goal. Your core logic, application logic should be decoupled from specific infrastructure details because then you can develop tests, maintain things in isolation and you don't lose anything. You can still maintain transaction consistency with some kind of decorator and then you just compose them in the infrastructure, in the composition route.